this region in south of Spain is creating waves. Thanks to its beautiful beaches, vibrant culture, and luxurious lifestyle options. With renewed focus on sustainable tourism, high-profile visits, and five-star events, Costa del Sol is capturing world's imagination like never before. A record number of 14 million overnight stays were recorded only in the first six months of this year. And that doesn't include peak summer or home stays. So what is Costa del Sol and why is it so popular? Let me answer your questions. Let's answer the first question. If you have just discovered Costa del Sol, it is not a city, but rather roughly 200 kilometers of coastal land on Mediterranean Sea in southern Spain. This area gets 320 days of sunshine, giving it the name Costa del Sol or the Coast of Sun, with mild weather year-round. When Europe goes into deep dark winters for months, people just want to escape to the sun. The only place on mainland Europe that is shining like a beacon on happiness is here. Malaga is the capital with international airport, which, by the way, is breaking records every other month. Other popular towns include names like Marbella, one of the most luxurious destinations of Europe, and El Madena with an award-winning marina, and Neja with stunning beauty. Since the start of easy travel via airplanes, Europeans have been flocking to Costa del Sol creating a long course filled with everything you need for a holiday. Even if you don't want to spend money, you have beaches, mountains, river walks and beautiful villages tucked away in the hills. It's a land of picnic. It has everything. It's a paradise all year round. We moved to beautiful Costa del Sol two years ago and for the last 12 months we've been exploring every single town here. If you are planning to visit or to move here like us, we made it easy for you. Please check out our channel and see what town is best for you. Let's explore Costa del Sol in two parts. East of Malaga and West of Malaga. It is the western part which is so popular and have majority of resorts. Let's begin with Malaga. The home of Picasso mouth-watering food scene and everything a city has to offer. Malaga is filled with beautiful architecture in its heart, with museums and historic sites. It's also a good place to explore out of this world nearby places, like Torcal National Park and Caminito del Rey. The city has a booming tech scene and great nightlife. Torremolinos. Next to Malaga Airport, Torremolinos was one of the first resort cities in Spain, which is reflected in the architecture, which still looks like from 60s. However, it is the LGBT capital of south of Spain, with monthly events year-round. It has a great beach with promenade, but the best thing is the atmosphere at night in Plaza Costa del Sol. and Armadena. This is a big one. Many people choose to holiday here as it has a very vibrant nightlife. Many attractions like the cable car, Selvo Marina, largest tube in Western world, and our favorite butterfly park. The marina of Menal Madena has won awards for being one of the best in the world. Benal Madena can be hilly, but has stunning beaches and a great future with huge developments in the area, like Higueron. Fuengirola. Not far from Benal Madena, you have Fuengirola. Mostly flat with long, wide, sandy beaches, a popular expat destination with a long, full street buzzing at dinner time. The biggest shopping center on Costa del Sol, Miramar, is here too. Fuengirola has a great atmosphere and a very popular destination for bar crawling. It's quite built up and has many rooftop bars for amazing views.
Biopark Finkirola is a fantastic destination with animals like Komodo dragon and flamingos. This is a good point to talk about transportation on Costa del Sol. Because all of these towns we have mentioned so far are connected by train. The train line runs from Marga Center, going through the airport to Torremolinos, Benalmadena, and ends at Fuengirola. Most of the tourism is concentrated in this area, for the very reason, as beyond that, you are relying on car hire or taxis. The rest of Costa del Sol can be busy at times, but still retains feelings of resort towns. Now, we are out of Malaga's gravitational pull and into Marbella's, the land of golf. First up, Mijas. Relatively less developed, but definitely up and coming. Mijas has the biggest golf course in Spain, with 60 holes and huge housing developments underway. The beaches and promenade here are relaxed, but still with all amenities. Mijas also has one of the prettiest whitewashed hill towns called Mijas Pueblo or the village. Marbella. Imagine a serene town with designer labels all around, from designer shops to designer beach bars and even designer living. Marbella is the jewel of Costa del Sol and a favorite destination amongst the celebrities of Europe. The area around Puerto Banús is where you dress to impress, and the high-end dining here is one of the best in Spain. Marbella is also a favorite amongst fitness gurus and holistic retreats. Not all of Marbella is super expensive. It's also a great place to live for an average person. We made Marbella our home because it has a beautiful natural landscape and a microclimate that is neither too hot nor too cold. Also, Marbella is a great place to explore Ronda, one of the most visited towns in Spain. We have a detailed video on Marbella and its famous Puerto Banús. Check in the description below. Estepona. Only a few years ago, nobody has heard of Estepona, and now it seems like everyone is talking about it. Some say it's the best place in Spain to live. Estepona lies next to Marbella, and in the last few years, Estepona has turned itself into a thriving place with a long stretch of beautiful beaches, down-to-earth people, a heaven for gastronomy as the whole town center is no-car zone. It has everything Marbella has, but it's still very boutique and accessible to all. Manilva. Manilva is a sleeping giant. It's not as popular as other towns mentioned before, and it's a perfect vacation spot for someone looking for a beautiful Spanish holiday without crowds. Manilva also has a beautiful marina. If you are into sailing, this place has the best prices here. The property prices in neighboring Estepona has doubled in the last five years, and it's only a matter of time that Manilva will follow the suit. It is a great place to explore the stunning towns in the green hills of Arconocales National Park. Soto Grande. Soto Grande is more like a giant posh resort with some of the best golf courses in Europe. And an equestrian club fit for the British royalty. It has one of the best school in the area and a fantastic marina. The only thing lacking in Soto Grande is the feeling of being in a town since it doesn't have a traditional town centre. It's more like a massive urban development for rich and famous. It does have a list of very high-profile residents. Gibraltar. Sometimes not considered as part of Costa del Sol, since it is a British overseas territory and you do need a passport to enter. Gibraltar is like no other place in the world. Britain in Spain overlooking Morocco. High Street feels very British, but the atmosphere is a mix of Britain and Spain, with the Spanish weather. Top of the Rock has the only wild monkey population in Europe, and superb 360-degree views. 
Now to the less developed eastern Kota del Sol. Nerja is the main attraction here, which sometimes is also described as the most beautiful town in the area. The Balcon de Europa is the beautiful balcony for an evening stroll after spending the whole day at a crystal clear beach down below. You will also find hugely popular Nerja caves here. Torox and Torre del Mar, the other two beach towns in the area, both very chilled and still retains the authentic Spanish feel. Torres Costa is hugely popular with German expats, and Torre del Mar is popular for its annual weekend beach festival. It is a wild coast, sparsely populated and great value for your money. I truly hope we have made Costa del Sol easy for you. But if you still have some questions, please feel free to write in the comments and we'll get back to you right away. Until next time, we will see you from another great location in beautiful Spain.